Hi, this is The Peaceful Prepper. I've finally put away all of the water and food storage that have been in previous videos, so I thought I'd show you what that looks like and how I plan to use it when bugging in or bugging out. There are some great videos on YouTube about really unusual places to stash food and water. That isn't what I've done. I like to keep things where I won't forget about them, have easy access to rotate them, and can get at least some of them into my car fairly easily if I'm bugging out. If I don't have power and it looks like I'll be bugging in or staying inside to be safer in any kind of emergency, for more than a day or two I put food from the refrigerator and coolers so that I can continue to access them. I think opening the refrigerator door is going to let in more heat than if food is packed more tightly in a cooler. I've done a video on keeping food cool in a power outage and if you're interested in some more ideas about that, I'll link it below. It would make sense to eat the perishable foods first so they don't go to waste, and then I would move into my two-week emergency food supply. I wouldn't eat the food in my bug-out bag, in case the situation changed and I needed to evacuate. If I'm bugging out on foot, I'm only going to take my bug-out bag. But if I'm driving and have time to make trips up and down the stairs to my apartment, I'd take as much as I could. I have a relatively small car, so I wouldn't be able to take all of my food and water supplies. And I'd want room for additional emergency supplies as well. If someone is coming with me, I'd have even less room in the car and take even less. I have a lot of my supplies in my front hall closet, so that that's the first thing I'd load up. Um, I'll show you what's in there next. I'd also take a cooler of fresh food and as much additional water and food as I can fit, and I have time to load up. This is my newly organized front hall closet. It still has coats and basic outdoor gear that I need every day, but about everything else I'm trying to find other places for, and it's pretty much devoted to my preps. And you saw in one of my previous videos that I, I used to have most of my tools in here. Those have been moved and divided up. And it's, it's a very narrow space, so I'm not sure, you know, without any light, so I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see. Fortunately, it is fairly deep, so you can see in the very back on the bottom, I have two of the boxes with the canned water and the dehydrated food. So that's there. And then I have two coolers on the left. The red one is full of water two liter bottles of water, and the blue one is full of um, some of my two-week emergency food. And the space that's still there is where my bug out bag will go. And then I do have a shelf up above, not sure you're going to be able to see, where I have a narrow basket that keeps gloves and hats. I took them out so that you could see behind. I think you can see there's another plastic tub back there with the rest of the dehydrated food. One of the things I'm trying to pay attention to is not to have heavy things up above, especially if I'm trying to bug out and move in a hurry. I want the heavy things on the bottom and if I have to reach up to a shelf, the lighter things. So that is the dehydrated fruit, that kind of thing. There isn't any water in that one. The other place that I'm keeping emergency food is in the kitchen. My kitchen is a decent size, so I do have enough cabinets for my daily needs. There are two places that don't get used that much because they aren't that accessible. The cabinet above my refrigerator and a corner cabinet that has space that's really hard to reach. Some of the things that I had in there, I was able to move somewhere else. Since I needed to stand on a step stool to reach the cabinet above the fridge, I wanted anything I stored there to be as light as possible. So to the right is one of the tubs I showed you in my two-week emergency food video, but I rearranged things so only the lighter items are in it and there aren't any cans. In the middle is a bag with my supply of paper plates, paper napkins, utensils, etc. And on the right I kept some of the things that have been there and I'll be able to put back my blender and a few other small things in front of my emergency supplies. So I've made a few changes to how I'm storing some of my water. These are pretty shallow 
tubs. And I have a place which I'm going to show you in a moment where I'm keeping them. Because they're so shallow, they don't really fit two liter bottles. So what I've done is just filled them up with a combination of different sizes so I got as much as possible in there. So underneath are half um, two liter bottles and then I've put in any number of other bottles, one liter, 28 ounces, 16 ounces, so that it will fit in one of the places in my kitchen. A lot of people probably have corner cabinets that have a dead space like this. Um, you know, it's really hard to reach and the, the door only covers a very small part of the shelf. I'm not sure these pictures will be very clear, but I tried. I also took the pictures before I emptied everything out of the cabinets and I'm not sure why, but there you go. The lower cabinet looks like this and I was able to fit two tubs of food, sliding them all the way to the back. And that leaves the front, which is right um, at the door and easy to access open for my everyday things. This is the upper cabinet and I have close to five gallons of water here and I can fit more. Again, I still have the accessible part of the shelf to use. I keep my largest store of water, 10 gallons in a five gallon and two, two and a half gallon containers in my bathroom. There's a cubby under the counter that I used to use for my cat's litter box. And since I don't currently have cats, that's become my main water storage. I have the containers wrapped in a heavy contractor's bag in case they should leak, but it also means you can't see it all that well in the picture. They're sitting on some cardboard, which I'll eventually trim so it doesn't stick out. It's not a big room, about five and a half by seven and a half feet. They're a smaller bathroom, certainly, but I wouldn't consider this spacious. Um, when I get another cat, I'll need to rethink this um, storage, but for now it lets me have more water than I did. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found it helpful. I'd love to hear your space solutions and the ideas you've come up with in the comments. Be safe, be happy.